Okay, in this recording, I'm going to show you how to do a normal quantile plot to check if data is normally distributed. And so we can see how to do that. I'm going to start by actually simulating some normal data. So I'll call the data x. I'll use the command if I want to simulate normal data. Before we want to do normal calculations, we've used um, q norm and p norm. Or to simulate normal data, we use r norm. So r for random norm. Then we say how many points we want. So I go for 100 and then we give the mean. So let's have a mean of say 5 and a standard deviation of 2. Run that command and now we've got this data which should be randomly distributed normally. So if I do x there's our points. So first of all we could have a look at a histogram of that. Now we can see a nice bell-shaped curve. And if we want to now have a look at a normal quantile plot, the command we use is QQ norm. Give it the data. And there you can see the point if I zoom in. So just to recap, what we've got here is these are the theoretical quantiles from a standard normal distribution. Here are the sample quantiles. And what we're looking for is if the data is normally distributed, which in this case it should be because we simulated for a normal distribution, this should be roughly linear. So we could try another distribution to give an example. So what if I said r equals run if? So this is r for random, so you're simulating data. An if is short for uniform. And again, if I go n equals 100, we do that. We'll have a look at it. You see, it doesn't look quite uniform. Let's pump this up a little bit. Let's have, say, a 1,000. Now you can see it's becoming even more uniform. I've got more points. And again, if I do QQ norm, X this time, now you can see you've got a real curved structure. So one of the things this is really useful for, if I had some observed data and there's only a few sample points and I was sure, not sure if that looked like it could be from a normal distribution, well, we could then produce data from a normal distribution and use that as a standard to compare how much deviation we could expect. So let's say I only had 10 points. I could do our norm. Let's say I've got 10. We'll stick with a mean of 5 and a standard deviation of 2. And now when we do our x, we've got our x there. If we do a QQ norm, You can see how much deviation, and we could repeat this again and see the various possibilities we could get. So you can see that now, even though this is normally distributed data, you can see there's quite a few bits of variation. Okay, that's it. Bye.